after our hangovers for the first time and then decided to come back on this Friday and talk about more box. Yes, do it all again. Yeah, because glutton for punishment. Yep. Hangover, liver related punishment. <sighs> Why do I love you so much, but I hate you as well. Hi. So, what's our topic? Um, our topic today the fears you had when you were a kid. Oh, okay. Um, I was afraid of ghosts. I thought there was a ghost that lived in my attic and I was terrified. And then like my parents were like, stop coming in to us. <laughs> I'd like sit outside their door going, <laughs> oh. you're not coming in, get out. I don't think I was that young, I think I was like 20. After I seen Armageddon for the first time, I was so terrified after seeing it that I couldn't go outside at night time. Because I was so afraid of looking up and just seeing a huge asteroid coming down towards me. I was <laughs> really afraid of graveyards. I used to hang out in graveyards. Yeah. When I was older, I would. Like, I think it's cool. I went to like graveyard to walk around. I was really old. Yeah. Like, who's that person? Oh, it's very interesting. My granny had like a mobile home in Body Hike, and there was like one court, like one room was closest to the graveyard, and I wouldn't sleep in that one room because I was afraid the ghosts in the graveyard. You're closer to them than you're the first one they're going to get. <laughs> I had a whole, is it, a whole fear was the end of the world. Millennium. No, it wasn't a millennium. It was like before that. It was in July something. And Prince. what? Gonna put it like it's gonna Prince. Yeah, I was terrified. Like a. <laughs> I was afraid that I'd open my wardrobe and Prince would be there. Hooray! <laughs> Still mustache on his lip. Yeah. He definitely does have a sex offender face. If he's not, he should work on that because he has to lose one. Definitely don't offend enough people sexually. No, no. I am offended sexually. You were afraid of the Armageddon? Yeah. I just like, I was even, uh, I used to read Ms. Magoon. Oh, yeah. And it had like a little segment. Who would, I don't know who would put this in, in like a little girl's magazine, but it had yeah. a section of Nostradamus. And he was basically saying, like, uh, I think it was, actually, it was actually a prediction by Nostradamus that the world was going to end in July. Some 90s, 96, 98, I don't know what it was. But he basically said that the world's gonna end. And I remember like lying in bed that the night before. Yeah. And just like lying in bed and I was just like Like I know they're really bad movies, but those paranormal activity movies really oh, scare yeah. the bejesus out of me. And it's because it feels so real. It's because yeah. the people the dialogue is very natural. And there's camcordery business going on. And you identify with the story and the setup and stuff like that because yeah. it feels and it's all kind of vaguely realistic things. And yeah. They, there's nothing like they don't go for the money gush. No, because and you never see anything. You just see like invisible things attacking you. But like, and I was actually after seeing the first one. Yeah. When okay, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Um, the first one when she's lying in bed and like the, the demon dude grabs her by the ankle and oh, takes yeah. her out of bed. Yeah. For like two weeks after seeing that, I could not leave my ankles outside. <laughs> it was yeah. terrible, like, and I'm yeah. like 24 when I watched that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh no, the demons look at me. I don't believe in demons. Definitely demons. Definitely yeah. demons. All my fears were yeah. fed into by reading all those kind of, like, yeah. like Oral Stein, oh, I still love <laughs> Wings of Horror and stuff. Uh, my dad would always have like horror films on. He'd be like, come in, sit down, watch Hellraiser, it's fine. Yeah. It'd be eight, and then I'd just be like sobbing in the corner. I actually only one thing like that where it was like, yeah, it was a movie, it was Inner Space. I was so terrified of it that I couldn't be in the house when it was on. I was over in our neighbours and I came home because they, they wanted to watch it, so I was like, oh, that's fine, I'll go home. And I got home, my mum and dad were watching it, and I started crying because I was like, there's nowhere for me to go. I have to live in a garden. Do you still have fears now? I have to be on drugs to get on planes. <laughs> yes. And it's funny, they don't like right. that. Prescribed <laughs> drugs, it's yeah. okay. Too many television programs can say it's not okay to bring miles of drugs on the lanes. That doctor in the alley told me it was fine. He gave me so many drugs. Border Patrol. Heaven and land. <laughs> Border Patrol? Yeah. This is, this is detrimental to our environment. Yeah. Yeah. Can't bring that tone here. Yeah, what are you bringing this? It's got a bit London, isn't it? There's a bit. Oh, or then they have the people and they're like, 
And you can't, you're on he drugs, can't come right? into this country. Why not? <laughs> Crispus. Yeah, you're back, Crispus. <laughs> you see the one with the crazy. <laughs> Say the crazy Jew. He was a crazy Jew. What's going on? He's. Ah, he had a stick, and they were like, "Please give me the stick." He's like, "I'm not being aggressive. <laughs> you really are being aggressive." You guys have any other ideas for future talking bottles? Yes. Only on our second episode, and already it's wearing thin. Oh yes, <laughs> very, very, very thin. Yeah. Like ooh, a teaspoon of butter on a large piece of toast. Bye. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye. Yes, thank you for listening to us talk about Yeah. We will definitely be back on a Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. Be precise. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. The soup. The soup. The soup. The The soup. The The soup. The soup. Oh, press the lift to the elevator. The soup. Oh, me calf muscles. <laughs> <laughs>